Hey, hi, my name is Crazy Carl Hickerson. I'm 63 years old. I've lived in Austin, Texas for almost all my adult life. I work as at a, at a vaudeville theater on 6th Street called Estes Follies. been working there since 1990. I'm a flower twirler, sell flowers, and I'm the bouncer there. I've got a great girlfriend, Charlotte Ferris. She's 58. been living together since that same year, 1990. I met her in 77. Charlotte's in a wheelchair because she caught probably when she was about 23 months old. Also, she uses an oxygen she take to help her breathe. I try to be a big help to her. We've got these four dogs that we take for walks around the neighborhood. I made her a sign that says, go slow. I mean, slow down, that's what it says. So they don't, because it's really narrow streets around here and no one's the sidewalk. Our vet is named Michael Mullen. He comes to the house. He's great with the dogs. We have a poker game at the house too, I, and Charlotte plays too. I've been playing since 77, I've been playing, you know, since the 60s really, but I didn't really seriously start playing, you know, hold them and all that until it, until it, I moved into Nudieville there, but that's another story. I try to make Charlotte laugh. I've got, that's probably my greatest contribution to her. It helps her get along. I try to do nice things. She's such a wonderful person. Everybody loves Charlotte. I, before I got was with Charlotte, I was lived married to Eve Bull. She helped me stop drinking after Heidi. We lived got married in a clothing optional apartment complex called Ludyville. Uh, we have made friends with Eve ever, and her partner Peter Loman. He comes, they come over and get goat's milk delivered on our front porch, and our, sometimes they stay over. She's got stage four cancer, and it has to do a lot more treatment. My mom and my sister Melanie live in town, Austin, Austin too. We visit often and bring, I take them flowers. She's got Alzheimer's now. She's 88. So Melanie takes care of her most of the time. She does art. She does art still. Art, keep, art keeps her going. They're one of eight children in my family. All of our family played musical instruments. I started playing trombone since the fifth, in the fifth grade. <laughs> By the time I got out, out of high school, I knew I'd had enough marching. It saved my life. It kept me out of Vietnam. I, I go to buy wholesale flowers every week and for my to sell and to use in the twirling act. I break about eight bums a week. I have to make sure the stems aren't too straight. I've decorated my van with uh, decoupage and uh, bumper stickers. It's uh, got a ramp out the side that helps Charlotte get in real easy. I've always wanted to have tits ever since junior high. Yeah, I've got this method for making my breast bigger. <laughs> It really is funny how it scares the drunks away at Esther's. That's the best thing about it. And really don't like the women's aren't freaked out by them, but it's, it's just the guys. And that's okay. I don't want them anyway. <laughs> it's really funny. The number one reaction is, mine are bigger. <laughs> I developed the tits, and they said, oh, you've got to wear a bikini. It's experimental, it's experimental theater out there. That's what it is. Working for Esther has been, has been great for me. It's been the best thing. It's 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 uh, you know it's given me an opportunity to express myself as an artist and as and develop as a performer.